This video is about how to refract. So it all starts with getting an appropriate auto refraction. We use a Canon RKF2 auto refractor. It takes about 20 seconds to get a measurement of both eyes. So this is her refra auto refraction. You can see on the right eye, she has very little prescription. On the left eye, she's astigmatism and she's nearsighted. We use plus cylinder, not minus cylinder. So we had that auto fraction, we know that. And then um, on the four opter, let's say the four opter is starting out at zero. Then I look at the auto fraction, I'll just put in minus a half sphere. There's no cylinder. And then on the left eye, I'm gonna put in minus three plus 150 at one for axis 140. Remember this is plus cylinder. You know that's plus because these are black. If this were minus cylinder, these would be red. All our four opters are in plus cylinder. So we always want to check their uncorrected vision first. So let's check her uncorrected vision. And so cover your left eye and what do you see there? N. Yeah, so I just used one letter and it speeds things A. along. Oh, good. E. Oh, good. F. Here. F for P or A. <laughs> well, I'm a little blurry today. Yeah, I can't really see. Okay, so here. she's 20, 25. Uh, so we just doc document that she's 20, 25. That's her uncorrected vision on the right eye. We don't have to use like a special device. We just use, have the patient use their hand. So go ahead and use your right hand, cover your right eye. And when they cover the right eye, ask them, don't mash on your eyelid or eyeball because it'll blur that eye when we test it later. All right. So then this is her left eye. I know she has a bigger prescription. So I'm going to start with a bigger letter. Can you read that? Okay. Let's go bigger. I could tell she's squinting. O C. So what's this? A. Yeah. Wow, so that's 2080. What's that? C. That's 2070. Yeah. So she's 2080 on the left. So we didn't have to keep looking that way. So we didn't have to shore the whole thing because that's not as time efficient. I could kind of get a sense of her uncorrected vision just by showing one letter. All right. So we're, we're going to say uncorrected vision on the left eye is 2080. Now um, we're going to refract her right eye. So the first thing you do is you line this up. And so if you can zoom in so we can see the bubble and the two circles. So we line this up. And so her head is in a comfortable position. You see that bubble? It means that it needs to be lined up with the white circle. And so we're going to do that so it's level. She's in a good comfortable position. Now look here so you can see how it's not lined up with her eyes. So this is the pupillary distance. And this dial controls the pupillary distance, which is the distance between the right and left pupils. Basically, we want to align these circles with her pupils. So I'm going to just stay right there. I'll just get in and get out. So right about there. And that looks pretty good. Can you tell? Yes. Good. And so now this means it's open. This lens is open. You can see it's open. Z O. It's open. So I, we always test the right eye first. So I'm going to occlude OC one eye. And we're going to start with the right eye. So now she's um, uh, her auto refraction, remember, was on her right eye minus 50. So that's where we're starting. And we generally uh, do what we call push plus. So I'm going to move the prescription. I'm going to lower the, I usually, for an eye that I think is capable of normal vision, I'll start out with like the 2030 line. Assuming she's capable of 2020, I'll show her a bigger target and I'll isolate it to one single letter. Can you read that, Janelle? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So choice one or and I plus I push plus. So I move the sphere in the plus direction. Choice one or choice two, which is better? I think one. Yeah, one. One's better. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'll go minus, but I'm more cautious about going minus because you can quote over minus somebody where they, you induce the patient to accommodate and they'll notice that the letters maybe become sharper, but they also become smaller and you don't want to 
have the patient accommodating to give you their best vision. So choice one, and I'm gonna switch it to choice, <laughs> choice one, and I'm gonna switch it to choice two. Tell me, does it, which is, which is bigger, choice two or choice one, which is bigger? They're about the same, actually. Choice two? Two is sharper, then. Sharper. Mm -hmm. Is two smaller, no. and then choice one bigger? They're about the same size. Okay. So that's maybe a little sharper. This is, so now I, I decrease the uh, visual acuity chart to the 2020 line. What do you see there? I see V, C, T, K, A. Yeah, good. And then can you read this here? I cannot. Okay, so good. So now I'm showing her the 2020 line. Choice one or two, which is better? One. Okay. Yeah. So she likes a minus 75. And it didn't get smaller. Does it get smaller here? Yes. Okay, that's uh -huh. that's over minus. We don't want to do that. We always want to make have her get the clearest vision with the least amount of minus. Okay, so choice one or two, which is better? Uh, one is easier. To okay, read, yeah. so she's a minus seventy-five, and we're done with that eye. And I don't really check the cylinder because our autorefractor is very accurate. I'm gonna go block occlude the right eye. I'm gonna open her left eye. And then, remember, this is the 2080i. So I'm gonna go to the 2040 line on the eye chart. So we've dialed in the minus three, 150 at uh, 140. Okay, so what letter's that? It's an E. Yep, choice one or two, which is better? One is better. Okay, and then I'll usually go to the, the axis next. So now I rotate this such that there's a little notch, but I want this white and this orange circle to straddle her axis, which is 140. So mm -hmm. if we're like this, we're off. You'll feel the little indentation right there. And you don't want it like this. You don't feel the indentation. You can see that there's a little A, A, and that should line up with her axis, which is 140. But you, it's, it's a palpable little lock or a slight indentation. All right, so choice one, choice two, two. which two's better. Mm -hmm. So it's go toward the white. So I'm gonna move it to about 145. Choice two or one, or about the same? About the same. Okay, good. So now I'm gonna go to the cylinder magnitude. So choice one or two? Uh, go back. Two or one? They're pretty equal. Okay, good. Uh, two here or one? One. Good. One here or two? One. One here or two? Go back. One again. I think like one. Okay, good. So. Again, she's looking at the 2040 line. If I were to show her the smaller line, it's harder for her to discern differences in clarity when we start too low. So now that I've optimized her vision on her left eye with the 2040 line, I will reduce the size of the characters to the 2020. Would you read that? CTO something AZ. Uh-huh, good, blink, 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 and I want to push plus again, just to make sure, is this better or worse? That's worse. Okay, better one, better two, or about the same? I think one's a little easier. You think one's yeah. a little easier? Uh-huh, so read that, please. That's, oh gosh, O, is it E, C, I know. Yeah. Uh-huh, is this better or worse? It's about the same actually. Okay, so I'm gonna give her that one because it's more plus. So <coughs> would you read these please? Yeah. L H so L and C H P. That's good. Okay. And then just as another point of trivia, that's your best vision from your left eye. I'm gonna block your left eye. I'm gonna open your right eye. Do you see it better there? Yeah. Okay, so because, here's another fine point, you'd stay right there, Jenna. Because her right eye has a simple prescription and it's more in focus, and her left eye is more out of focus, I can hypothesize that 
when she was a child, her right eye was always in better focus than her left eye. So her left eye is always going to have a little weaker ability to see. It's going to be a little amblyopic left eye because she has more, her left eye's always been more out of focus. She's never had eye surgery. This is just how how God made her, right? So this is, then we, we line up, we open up both eyes and we go, how's that? That's great. Okay. Yeah, I'm see HP. And so Janelle's young, so if a person had a cataract that was visually significant, they wouldn't see the 2020 line or they'd say it's fuzzy. So you may have to start with larger size text on the eye chart. So that's our video about refraction. Hope, hope it was helpful. Thanks for yeah. watching.